All right, before we begin, lesson 1.10b, that would be Teddy Jr. That just flew by my head. Go ahead and say hi, quick. Make, I'm making my new book. I'm going to post out to store. It's called Mayo, Mayo 2, Back into Minecraft. Make sure to look out for it later when I finish the book. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's going to be a chapter book. Well, there's your uh, advertisement for Jack and the new book he's writing. So, hopefully... We can get now into lesson 10b. I broke this lesson up into addition and subtraction of numbers in scientific notation and multiplication, and now multiplication and division. Personally, I feel multiplication and division are a little bit easier. And because um, we get to use those exponent rules that we've been working on. So let's just jump right in and do some examples. So this first one here, we have um, a number here in scientific notation, 8.9 times 10 to the first times 6.4 times 10 to the fourth. I want you to realize this is all multiplying. So this is actually 8.9 times 10 to the first times 6.4 times 10 to the fourth. Even though we write it a little di differently, it's all multiplication. Remember, we can multiply in any order by the commutative property. So I can change these two around and have 8.9 times 6.4 times 10 to the first times 10 to the fourth. So then we can just use a calculator and use our exponent rules. So if I multiply 8.9 times 6.4, I get 56.96. And then times, remember our powers of 10 here. Same base, multiplying, we add the exponent. So this works out to be 56.96 times 10 to the fifth. The problem, this is not in scientific notation. This is not a number between 1 and 10. I could move the decimal point right here, and that would become 5.6. Nope, don't do that. 5.696 times 10. Now, a couple different ways you can think about it. If you go from where you want it, the meaning of the decimal point, to where it is, we're moving one place to the right, I can add one. The other way you can think about it is you can say, hey, I'm going from 56 to 5. I'm making this smaller by a power of 10, so I need to make this bigger by a power of 10. Either way you look at it, this becomes 5.9, I'm sorry, 5.696 times 10 to the 6. All right, so let's look at another example. Again, this is all multiplication. This is 6 times 10 to the negative second, times 9.7, times 10 to the six, and we can multiply in any order. So I'm gonna start by multiplying six by 9.7. Sorry, that's a really poor line there. And if I go six times 9.7, I get 58.2. So I get 58.2 times, now my exponents. Same base, I'm gonna erase that, give myself some more room. Same base, add the exponent. So we end up negative two plus six. Same base multiplying, add the exponents. All right, so we have 58.2 times 10 to the negative two plus six is four. Again though, not in scientific notation. Scientific notation is a number between one and 10 times 10 raised to an integer power. I want to move my decimal point right here. I want to make this 5.82. Again, if I go from where I want it to where it is, I'm moving one to the right, or I'm making this smaller by a power of 10, so I need to make this bigger by a power of 10. Either way, that becomes 5.82 times 10 to the fifth. Numbers change, but we're still doing the same process. So that's how we multiply numbers in scientific notation. Now we need to divide, or we're going to divide. All right, so just like we did before, I want us to break these up at the multiplication sign. I'm going to rewrite this as 5.77 divided by, those are sevens there, sorry, divided by 3.16 times 10 to the third over 10 to the first. And then just divide this. 5.77, 5 and 7700 divided by 3 and 1600 if I say it correctly. 
All right, we're going to get some, we're going to have to approximate here, and that's okay. I don't really say where to approximate to, so probably around the hundredth area. I think I'm going to multiply or approximate to the hundredths. That's a two. The five behind it tells me to make that a three. So I'm going to say this is approximately equal to 1.83 times 10. Now notice it's same base dividing. That's when we subtract the exponents. So I get 1.83 times 10 to the second. Do a quick double check. Is this in scientific notation? Number between 1 and 10 times 10 to an integer power. Yes, it is. We're all set. like it when it works out that way. Let's do the same thing with this one. This is 4.2. And again, guys, I know I'm moving quickly, but you can always pause the video and catch up or repeat things. If you miss something, you can rewind it. Now, I need us, to, there's a reason I gave us this example. We're going to start out doing the same way. I'm breaking things up. Now I want to divide this. 4.2 divided by 7.32. Hopefully I got that right. And again, I'm going to approximate it. This time I might take it out a little bit further. I might go to the thousandths just because I can anticipate having to change this into scientific notation. So I'm going to look at that 3 here. The 7 behind it tells me to make it a 4. So I'm going to write this as 0 0.574 times 10. Same base dividing, we subtract 3 minus negative 2. 2. You don't just go 3 minus 2. This exponent minus this bottom one. All right, so this becomes 0 0.574 times 10. The reason I changed colors is right here. Subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding its opposite. Keep, change, change. So that ends up being 3 plus 2, which is 5. Now, this is not in scientific notation. We have 0 0.574. This is not, needs to be a number between 1 and 10. But if I move the decimal place over right there, this becomes 5.74. That is a number between 1 and 10. If I go from where I want it, meaning the decimal point, where I want it to where it is, I'm moving 1 to the left. So that's a negative direction, so I'm going to subtract 1 or add a negative 1. You can also think of it as I'm making this bigger by a power of 10, so I need to make this smaller by a power of 10. Either way you look at it, you get 5.74 times 10 to the 4. So again, my opinion is multiplying and dividing is a little bit easier. But um, you need to watch out at the end that you make sure your answer is in scientific notation.